Alright, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to have an effect that is dependent on being on the ground. First, to have this as an ability, you got to disable the ability, the setting enable to false, and then for this it's going to be a super jump that causes you to sparkle. So, to get the super jump part of it, set to ongoing each player. Then you could set it to a specific character. And then, is button held by player ability 1 is the button, and true, meaning that it is held. When that happens, apply an impulse to the person doing it in the up direction 20 makes it similar to a far jump and then to have the sparkle happen alongside it is button held just like the last one and then is the player on the ground false. When that happens, create effect visible to all players on all teams. It will create sparkles that are white at the player with a radius of 1, which makes it just on the player's body. And then to clear that effect when you land on the ground, is, on is the player on ground true? You can do destroy last create effect if you have it on a cooldown, but I don't, so I do destroy all effects, and I'm doing that just so that when I demonstrate it, I can use it multiple times to make it clear that I'm sparkling and when I'm not. This could also be done in reverse to do a floor on lava mode if you wanted to recreate what all, what Blizzard already provided. Now arriving at Phoenix. We're all soldiers. So now you can see that ability one, which is the sprint on left shift is disabled, but when I press left shift, I'll have a super jump, which will cause me to start sparkling, which I'm going to keep using just so the sparkles are clear. Now when I land, they'll disappear. get better at using the workshop, you could probably combine creating the sparkles with the jump so that they start regardless of if you're on the ground and you could probably combine clearing them with something else but until you get more used to the to using workshop probably a good idea to do them separate just so that you don't get any unintended results such as them disappearing before you want them to, appearing before you want them to, doing them separately it's easier to make sure they only happen when you want them to.